Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading for October 10th to the 16th. I'm Robin Kerline from Robin's Authentic Tarot, and thank you for visiting my channel. Okay, ooh. So Gemini, uh, this is supposed to be a three card reading, but it's going to be something more than that. Not that many, that was way too many. So you have the magician and you have the six of swords for your situational energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Kind of like semi choked on air. Um, so with, ooh, sorry. <laughs> so now you have your action, you have two cards there. And then, yeah, okay, so there's one there. Hmm. All right, now, like I said, you have the Magician and you have the Six of Swords. Now, this is, this is actually really, really big. The Magician, this is about, uh, like, bringing things into your life. This is about, like, setting the goals, setting those intentions, making those dreams happen. So you are writing it down. You are saying it out loud. You are taking actions. You are, you are like, actually physically doing things that are um, going to lead you into the direction and where you want to go. Speaking about the direction and where you want to go, this here is the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords, this is you actually making those decisions, changing that communication, you're receiving the thoughts, you're like deciphering thoughts, you're receiving that guidance, and then you have a source energy, you have your higher power that is feeding you and giving you all of this divine downloads that you are receiving. So with this, it's also like physically moving. So you are moving forward, you are going in a different direction. And this all has to do with how you are making things happen for you. You infinitely have everything that you need. You have all of the elements right there on the table. Look at all this lushness. Like this is, is saying that the time right now is prime. The time is prime. So like, that's awesome. So amazing. Now, ooh, this is really cool. The action. So like I said, you have two cards here. You have the Hierophant. The Hierophant, this is about change. So the five, it's about change. It's about transition. It's about moving in a different direction. Now it is about breaking from tradition. It's about doing things that you once did and you are now moving into a different direction. You are moving to the beat of your own drum. That is what I'm picking up from here. Like you are, you're making these decisions in the way that you want things to be and not how other people want them to be. So this, this is a very big, big card because this definitely talks about and can mean that, and in, in, in a lot of situations, you may have loads of support behind you, but sometimes, uh, you don't have those like-minded people that are behind you. And so this one is saying like, yeah, you know what? You have spirit, you have God, you have source energy, you have all of your, your higher ups that are providing this support for you. And when you see these pillars here, or when I see these pillars, I mean, you're moving into a different direction. We have Ollie here with us. So moving into a different direction, you're going to the beat of your own drum. Now, also for this action is you have that strength of the knight, of that warrior, and it's the pentacle energy, which means it's the earth energy, which means it's the foundational root chakra energy. So for this, this is you restructuring your foundation, you're making those moves, but you have this solidity to the movements that you are making. You have the solidity because this night isn't going anywhere in a rush. 
uh, there's 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 no movement really it's 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 feeling rooted it's feeling grounded feeling like you're in the right place that you're making the right moves Gemini this is like really fantastic I love this such amazing amazing energy now for your completion card you have the Hierophant and I know the hair, not the hierophant, excuse me, you have the hermit. And I know the hermit, you know, it's gray and it doesn't look, um, it just doesn't look very appealing. But the hermit is a, <laughs> is a definite major arcana for a reason. And that is all of that inner work that you're doing, all of the wisdom that you're collecting, all of the listening that you're doing. This is like the highest, the highest divine energy because you have so much that's within you and you have the divine guidance that's being given to you like that support. So for you to know that you have just such a surmountable amount of support. And with this here, it's kind of like um, the Hierophant, the Hierophant, the Hermit. Um, the Hierophant's kind of like that, that Pope-like um, figure. And so there's like a lot of power with that. And that's what I'm saying is here for you. So even though you may feel like you're breaking from tradition or what you usually did before, or you're doing something that is kind of against the grain and it's not what other people might expect from you or want for you or from you so this is this is i feel that there's a a lot of a lot of big stuff going on here gemini for you but also for you to know that you have so much incredible support when you walk through those pillars when you walk through that doorway you're going to be met with wisdom you're going to be met with guidance so I love that. I love that. Such an amazing, very, very powerful week for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.